Recently, I have uh, seen a lot of posts where people are asking for how to change uh, post content uh, in bulk amount. For example, uh, like changing the year of the post, like how to do this kind of things in 2023, things like that, and a particular link inside the post. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how can you do this very easily in WordPress. So let's begin. You can easily do it if you are a developer by using the MySQL database and uh, updating some content over there, uh, like the table names and things like that. Uh, but you need to know the perfect and right query to do that. Uh, but if you are not a developer, don't worry. You just need to know the name on the table where uh, the post content uh, is uh, located or stored in the database. I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you an easy way like a plugin to do that. So let's uh, jump into my uh, computer, computer skin and see how to do this thing. Uh, now we're going back to uh, my screen and uh, you can see my laptop screen now and Chrome browser. Uh, I'm on wpboffins.com. I have recently updated the design and look of this website and um, uh, you can uh, join my newsletter from here. And also if you go to any of the post then you will see my YouTube channel link and you can easily find me from there also. Okay, and we have a group uh, uh, for WordPress enthusiast and WordPress community. If you are willing to join that group, you can do it by scrolling down and clicking on this link or you can search uh, this on Facebook WordPress help for beginners. Okay, let's jump into the solution that we're looking for. If you want to update the post date, that is quite easy and uh, you can do it uh, uh, individually from each post from your um, WordPress dashboard from the editor. But as we're talking about bulk, up bulk updating, that means we need a solution uh, where we can uh, do it with one click or, or with just few clicks. So if you are looking to update the post date, then this bulk post update plugin is the solution for you. And it is quite easy to do that. And um, you have to install it on your WordPress. Um, I'm going to do that for you in a moment. So let's go to uh, WP Buffins. Uh, I, I will use lab.wp Buffins for this case and uh, let me log into this website yeah so i'm going to add a plugin from the plugins and new and i will go and search this plugin and this is the atik samathia uh, plugin uh, kudos to him and um, I'm not affiliated with this plugin by the way I like this one okay once we have installed that then we, we have to go to settings then bulk post update first option of this plugin for the post is distribute into last from here we can select the frequency of the update like uh, every one hour one day 15 days one month two month and we can also give a custom range things like that for now i'm going to keep one day and then uh, we can also select which category post should be uh, changed or updated hmm. so we can do it and let's say that which tag also needs to be changed and which field uh, there are two field uh, in wordpress uh, that we can change like post modified date and post published date so we can change into any of them uh, we can bring the change to into any of them so uh, we can do that but uh, updating the uh, published date is not recommended because uh, it can hamper your seo uh, if you constantly change the published date but publishing updating the modified date means that you are constantly changing 
your post content so that is a good way of doing it so in this way we can change uh, the post date once I have selected that the uh, two post update date refreshed already if we go then we'll see that their, their date has been changed okay when you have changed the date uh, that is the modified date for your post if you go to the editor like classic editor or block editor you will not see the modified date option you will see the published date but don't panic because uh, it already changed okay let me show you what I'm talking about I hope you can see my screen now and if we go to the post as we have two posts in the tags uh, under vegetables so this actually changed uh, into the desired uh, modified date option that we have selected from the plugin if I open vegetables then you'll see that it's still the date is September uh, 2020 uh to twenty twenty two and uh, there is no option for the what if i did and if we switch to classic editor we'll see that there is no option for that if, if there is any screen option uh, no there is no screen option for that also uh, to show the modified date so how we can see it uh there are two way if you are using any uh seo plugin from there you can add the meta description and if your theme actually supports the modified date then you can uh, select that option uh, to be visible on your website let's do it i'm using cadence at this moment by the way i love it you can also use this amazing theme let's say that that vegetable post that we have uh, posted uh, Okay, I will select papaya because it has content. Yeah, a little bit of content, not too many of them. Okay, so now uh, this has the published date, right? Let's customize it. Because this theme has that option. So I'm going to post and page layout. From there, I'm selecting single post layout because it is a single post. And from there, this is the meta option and this is the show date and I'm also going to show show last updated date see today is August 4 2023 so that date is there as I have selected past one hours so in this way we can change the post date we can change into we can change a lot of posts in this way that is called the past that is called the bulk update date now what if we want to change the content of the post what would be the solution well I'm going to demonstrate that right now please grab a coffee and uh, you're gonna love it you're gonna learn a lot of way how you can change and it's gonna make your life wonderful and if you already haven't subscribed my channel please do it and if you have liked the video so far please give it a thumbs up thumbs up okay so now we we want to change the post content right so for that i'm going to use another plugin name better search replace to use this plugin you need to have some sort of idea how wordpress keeps its its data on its database uh wordpress actually by default or by the common standard uses mysql database or you can say mysql um so you need to know the table structure to do that but don't worry uh i will tell you which tables to make changes in a moment I'm going to use a client's website for this because uh, I don't have a lot of posts uh, to demonstrate uh, this. Let's say that you have uh, 100,000 of posts or let's say 5,000 posts and you want to change the title. How to do that? Okay, let's do it. Uh, first, uh, let's install the plugin. 
you, you can download the plugin or you, you can uh, just uh, install like a common plugin I'm not going to demonstrate that for now because uh, from plugins and new is the way for the safety purpose as it is a as it is live site I'm going to hide the website URL and things like that let's say that this is your website and uh, you want to change the structure like net 2023 age hide bio but the wiki so let's say that you don't want to have this 2023 on the title how you, you can do that well let's uh, jump to the uh, uh, plugin that we're talking about a better search replace uh, to find this one you have to go to tools then you have to select uh, better search replace from there you have to find out two table because wordpress actually keeps a data in two table for the post that is uh, the table prefix for this case ms but in most cases it will be wp underscore post so you have to look for uh, anything after the underscore that is post and anything after the underscore is post meta you have to select the command or control from your keyboard then you have to select these two table so what we are trying to achieve we are trying to achieve uh, uh, that we ch need to change this title right so you have to first get the content that you want to change or the pattern of the content that you want to change so for uh, please don't just change 2023 then it will change everything into 2023 maybe you, you have a content that is uh, referring to a date back in 20 uh, let's say 2023 so if you uh, directly change the year like this then it will be a problem so please take some content from uh, uh, from the beginning and also after the desired content uh, to get a better result so i am pasting search for this will be the thing then let's say i want uh, after selecting that you can select case uh, this is the additional setting by the way case insensitive uh, this is uh, if you select this then anything uh, capitalized or anything upper caps or anything will uh, lower caps will be changed but i want that content to be exact so i'm not selecting this option and uh, i'm not checking this one uh, this is different and i don't recommend uh, selecting this one also so first do a dry run because if you uncheck this one then the change will be instant to your database so sometimes uh, you don't want to do that it could break there is a term all hell will be broken loose or all hell will break loose things like that so don't do it so i'm doing a dry run to see how much content it can change for me it might take some time uh, based on your database look at that uh, website that I am working it has two gigabytes of data on these two tables <laughs> there is plenty okay so after the operation after the dry run I can see that there are 161,734 cells that could be changed. So let's do it. What I want to do, I want to change it to. I don't want this. I want to remove this date. Okay, so I am removing that. Then what I will do, I will uncheck the dry run. So what that does that mean you have to search for the content that you want to change then you will change change the content with the content that you are looking to replace it with this is the concept of this plugin 
so i'm going to do that and i'm going to run it this time i have unchecked the dry run so the change that i'm going to make right now i can't redo uh, undone it or undo it so i have to live with that okay uh, if you see that an error occurred processing your request try decreasing max space size or uh, contact support don't worry uh, in most cases your job is done because this is mysql query already your database is running this but please remember that in order to do this you have to have a very good web hosting if you have more than 5000 post most of the modern web hosting will easily manage or handle this 5000 or 10000 of posts let me check if um, uh, con content has changed or not not or uh, i can see that still most of the content not changed so i'm going to run it again You can run as many times as you want, no problem. It will start from the end that it has changed. The less amount of uh, row it need, needs to change, the less amount of time it will require to run this operation. So we can see that all of the content already got updated uh, with the help of this plugin if you are having problem updating uh, like maximum page size or you need to decrease the page size that is uh, that means that uh, the memory limit is not enough or sufficient what you can do you can select one table at a time to update it so in this way you can actually change the content uh, in bulk amount for your website you can uh, bulk update content inside the post or you can also bulk update the content date uh, modified date or maybe or maybe the published date please remember that in order to do this you need to have a good you need to have a good uh way of hosting and um, and if you have a lot of content then you might need to run this command multiple times i hope you have enjoyed enjoyed this video if you have please do like this video and if you don't like the video please let me know in the comment how can i improve my content and please do subscribe to this channel until next time take care bye